If you watched my last video, you will know that I thought the last pump was a trap, but is this one a trap? Let's find out right here, right now, and analyze the situation as I just quickly, briefly adjust my webcam. So if we are looking at this right here, right now, what can we see on the chart? This is the long term, as you can see. Uh, this is the, the important part of the video, right? We still have this lingering move down to potentially 18K, and I know a lot of you guys are probably already typing out comments like, you're never gonna go to 18K, this is the bottom, right? <laughs> but uh, listen, if you've lived through these kind of cycles, you will know uh, that anything is possible in Bitcoin land. And when a measure move is, is printed out on a chart like this, you should not ignore it. Am I blindly whacking in shorts? Absolutely not. I want to see this play out and then I'll find a fantastic long, obviously. But if I do want to, if I do want to short this, I'll be looking for lows to break anyway. So this 25k area, and that's pretty much what I would expect for the long term. Uh, if we do want to head up here for a couple more days, we've got the 10 SMA coming down. I'm just going to double check that is the 10 SMA. Uh, yeah, the 10 SMA coming down here uh yeah there you can see so the red 10 M sma here coming down and if we do hit that then yeah i do think uh we do get a small reaction towards the downside even in in the midst of an uptrend anyway right so this is going to be a key area to watch as it comes down this is a free uh moving average you can just get by searching in indicators just to type in 10 sma or whatever any sma uh, and you can find it and yeah, I would be expecting a, a negative reaction when we hit that anyway. But if we are looking at this, generally we can see, hey, um, this this isn't confirmed yet, this symmetrical triangle. We would need a high to be put in here first to confirm this trend line. But if that is the case, then there will be measure moves uh, kind of playable towards the upside from that point if we do want to just kind of play this out in this way right uh, i won't personally be taking a long trade unless we get over this last wick high so we're looking at essentially 32 uh, and if it does play out this measure move then yeah it might make a high and come back down and test this anyway so uh, important time to be watching this but what i will say is this pattern is fine but it's not necessarily what i'm looking at too much and just before i uh, close that off we we would have a measure move towards the downside as well here in the more immediate term uh, if we do want to make a high here we do come down and then uh yes i think uh i think if if, if we can find a short here, that'd be fantastic. So I'd probably look for a short around this last low, which is uh, uh, 29.7, 29.6, that kind of area. So if we come down first, make a low here, come up, retest, and then break that low, I'll be entering a short, most likely. Anyway, if it's not too quick, if it's like a one-minute candle, I'm not going to rush into it, and you guys shouldn't either. All right, this is a very tricky area. I'm running a grid. I'm making money on the volatility anyway, so let's not push the luck here, right? So if we are if we are checking this out towards the downside, then yeah, uh, there, there might be a small trade here, which would be like 2%, yeah, about 2% down to this trend line, which makes sense. So the trend line is currently at 28.9 and then the the entry for the trade would be roughly around this 29.6 29.7 area so you can see about 2.2 percent not too bad here not too shabby uh, and yeah that's the up and up and down side moves for this um this smaller pattern if we're looking at this bigger one here we can see there's four super important things here right uh first of all measure moves all the way up uh, if we did find a long here which would be fantastic by the way around this 32.6 area this kind of zone right uh, i'd be looking to get over this first obviously but let's say we do come up here and then we break the high, then yeah, there's a, a lot of space here, a nice air pocket here towards the upside. And this is the the the, the first point, right? The volume weighted ATR band here, right here, uh, about 33.9 would be an important take profit. And I would expect a, a blind negative reaction. Um, I wouldn't expect to just smash through that at all. I would expect us to reject off that the first time and probably come back down to the 32s if we head up anyway. Again, this is all hypothetical in case we do head up. But again, thinking a few steps ahead here can often make you a lot of money if you get your risk reward right okay and then the second point here which i i aimed on being the first point but uh yeah if we do want to head up here and complete the full measure move uh something like this would make sense to me then uh yeah getting over this volume weighted atr van is great for uptrends let me just show you why okay even this was a small uptrend um we can even put a little number on this yeah four percent there beautiful stuff and then uh this one as well just beautiful things happening. 30% up there. Uh, we've got 7% there. We've got, yeah, just endless examples of when we get over this red volume weighted ATR band, it's fantastic for trends. So that's one thing I'm going to be looking out for. But secondly, is uh, using that for a take profit and also looking at the, so the top of this measure move, which is currently at 35.7, which I'll be using uh, as, as a very good point to be taking profit if, if I have any left in the trade anyway. I'll probably take like 80% out here anyway at this moving average, a volume weighted volume weighted ATR band, not, not moving average. But uh, yeah, towards the downside here, pretty much the same story. We can see, he, we can see here, um, under 28K, there would be a short opportunity first down to this pivot, which would be fantastic, around 27.3. And then the other volume weighted ATR band here, which would be at 
26 too, uh, as well as our measure move ending at 26 here on this bad boy. So uh, yeah, just the summary here today, we do have this potential triangle. It's not confirmed yet, but if that does come through, that would be great. Uh, and then we have this trend line, which essentially there is a short trade here, potentially anyway. It's a bit more of a risky one. Um, and then we've got this channel. And then besides that, we've got this massive daunting measure move down to 18K, which again, could happen, could not happen, but we need to be prepared and ready for it. And the final thing here before I do go, uh, if you could like the video, that'd be fantastic, by the way, and subscribe if you're new. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing out there. Uh, but yeah, if, if we do look at this volume weighted ATR band on a weekly, uh, we can see that this is one of the best, the best in instigators of trends. So if we do get up to like 43, this will be a key area to watch. But what I will say here, looking at previous data, is I would expect us to come down anyway after hitting that, despite there not being too many trend lines. I mean, there's this uh, coinciding with it. Okay, right? So that, that might come into fruition. Not due to that, but it might definitely help in terms of uh, getting some sell pressure through around this area. And then I would expect a rejection and probably some kind of fizzle out here before a recovery. If we do want to head up above this though, and really start gaining some ground, then yes, there might be uh, some nice upwards trends in, in terms of parabolia, in terms of getting above this bad boy again. Uh, basically looking for something similar to uh, what we saw with the 14k run up here. If, if you look at the four hour or the daily with this, uh, we got above that red line uh, on the daily anyway. So yeah, that's something to watch. The other thing here I wanted to say is looking at the previous cycle after we topped here, right? Uh, we got below it, bear market initiated, and then we came up and we hit that bad boy. It doesn't actually look too different uh, to what we're seeing now, right? Um, so yeah, coming up, hitting this bad boy, and then getting some kind of downward reaction makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, and the rest of the, uh, I mean, the, the rest of the TA is, is, is a lot less valuable than this in itself, right? So uh, what I will say is look out for that. The 43 is the 45 for a potential rejection if we do want to head up anyway. But again, uh, in terms of the daily, uh, we haven't even made a higher low. We, we're, we're still very, very extremely bearish. So yes, uh, something like this wouldn't surprise me either. So just be careful out there. This is not a predictions thing. This is a reactions thing, right? Uh, making the most money from the market as it behaves in this dirty random walk. That is going to be it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic one. Subscribe, leave me a comment, and uh, yeah, like the video, that'd be fantastic.